As I mentioned previously, here in the analog world, we are primarily dealing with voltage. A voltage that is varying from positive to negative at a particular rate can be heard as an audio signal, as long as that variation is within the human hearing range. Most audio signals in the analog domain work this way. But then there's also control signals that can be varying or constant. Here's an example. When I play a note on this keyboard here, I'm generating a constant voltage that tells the oscillator to oscillate at a particular pitch. Let's say I play a low note, I send a low voltage, which in turn tells the oscillator to oscillate at a low rate. If I play a high note, I generate a high voltage, and consequentially, the oscillator generates a higher pitch. The voltage generated from the keyboard is called keyboard CV, or control voltage. You can use this to control whatever else you want with the patch bay keyboard out. You will see control being used a lot in analog sense. VCA, voltage controlled amp, VCO, voltage controlled oscillator, etc. Now the voltage coming out of this keyboard is in the range of negative 5 volts to positive 5 volts. Within the range of 1 volt, you get a complete octave. This 1 volt per octave system is a standard in the Eurorack world. Now interestingly, when I hold that note down, I'm also generating another voltage called the gate. As long as I'm holding down the note, this gate will keep sending out that constant voltage. Once I release a note, the gate voltage goes off. You see a gate output on the patch bay here, and you also have a gate input. The voltage this gate output generates is 5 volts. The gate input will accept 5 volts, but is tolerant of 10 volt signals as well. You may ask, what is the purpose of this gate? Well, it's a way to trigger something else in the synth. So when you play a note, the keyboard CV or control voltage sends the voltage to the oscillator and triggers that. But maybe you also want to trigger an envelope or restart an LFO or restart the sequencer. The gate can be useful for this. So these are examples of control signal. Now, so far, I've only given examples of voltages that are constant, but you also have varying voltages that can also be used to control things. For example, an LFO which is an oscillator, but it's not used as an audio voltage. It's used as a control voltage. It has a range of negative 5 volts to positive 5 volts. So if I have this LFO routed to the oscillator's pitch, it sends that varying voltage to the oscillator, which in turn varies its pitch in that same range. Now, of course, you may not always want the oscillator to vary with such a wide range. So there is an attenuator here that can reduce the voltage range of the LFO. So the resulting variance in pitch is a lot less and more like vibrato. So those are examples of control voltages and how they are used. And of course, there are audio rate voltages that result in audio signals. Now the most exciting part about modular synthesis is that there is no distinction between audio rate voltages and control rate, at least when it comes to the use. You can use any kind of a signal to control any other signal. Sometimes the results will probably not be very musical, but other times, you will discover some really fascinating things that your fixed architecture synthesizer just is not capable of. Okay, now that we have a good understanding of voltages, let's get into learning the controls of the Mother 32.